the potential for for GM uh, products in Africa is huge because, uh, as as you see, Africa is the most food insecure continent in the world. Africa has uh, the highest number of uh, hungry people. We are talking about 300 million people that are food insecure. We are talking of a continent that is always depending on food grown elsewhere, yet it is the most undeveloped continent that really, really needs to depend on agriculture. And therefore, any technology, including agricultural biotechnology, should be considered. Because in the history of agriculture in the world, or the history of development generally, nobody has ever made it without innovation. The risk of not adopting GMO is huge because Africa is the worst hit by climate change. Uh, maize production in Kenya has gone down substantially because of drought, which is cyclical. Uh, and and, and, and uh, to be able to deal with some of these challenges, you need uh, higher yielding crop. You need crops that can withstand drought. You need crops that are uh, more uh, nitrogen use efficient, uh, you know, whether it is maize, whether it is rice. So, so the risk is very huge. Cassava production in Africa, which is a food uh, security food crop, is affected seriously by, by the cassava mosaic disease. And, and uh, most farmers are not growing it anymore. Why? Because of this disease. Biotechnology has a solution. So if we do not go that way, how are we going to save these farmers whose children are suffering, cannot go to school, they are hungry. If a technology is available out there to help uh, Africa to feed itself, if to help families to stay alive, why not go for it? Those are the risks you're talking about. They are, these are real problems that we're talking about.